Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with another weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that really supports your health and wellness. This week we're going to be talking about towels and we're going to be talking about bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, kitchen towels, all of it. I'm going to share with you why this actually is a really impactful change when we're looking at creating a healthy house. It might seem really insignificant, but because we come in contact with towels on our skin, and then we also dry towels in our dryer for longer amounts of time, we are actually introducing a lot of toxins into our space just through those two things alone. Um, towels can contain pesticides, VOCs like formaldehyde, antimicrobials, bleach, all kinds of things that we generally don't even think about. We assume they're just a material or a fabric and there's nothing else in it when in actuality there are a lot of toxins that are included in these towels to make them super absorbent, stain resistant, and extra plush. So we're going to talk about what materials we want to avoid. We're going to cover what materials are okay to buy, how to shop for towels, and I'm also going to share with you my favorite towels that are organic and third-party certified. So if you're someone who likes to find all the links and dive deeper into the, some of the studies that I'm sharing, I would encourage you to go to this week's blog post. I have it linked at the bottom of the video description. Otherwise, I'm going to take you through some slides that are just a video format of this week's blog post and you can kind of get a visual presentation and all of the same ideas that are in the blog post. So if you've taken me up on getting a free copy of the layering approach to creating a healthy house, you know that as you go through each room of your home, a list gets created to guide you into healthy home swaps. Eventually, as you go through the rooms in your house, you'll get to the bathroom. And when you get to the bathroom, you know that the towels are probably at the top of the list to be swapped out for any type of organic bath towel. And when you get to your kitchen towels, the same type of item will be added to the list. I love knowing why I'm going to do something, and I really like to understand the entire story around why I shouldn't use a product and why I should swap it out for something better. So maybe you're like me, and the information I'm going to share about bath towels and kitchen towels will really help you make a permanent change in your home. Or maybe you like to find trusted brands and products. You like to have all the answers, and you don't really need to know more than conventional towels can have a lot of toxins. And it doesn't really matter which category you fall into. You'll notice that in both of these scenarios, the toxic t bath towels got swapped out for organic bath towels. So either way, I'm here to help with sharing the details on why it's important to swap out toxic products, but also to share with you some options you can swap them out with. So throughout this video, we will talk about the problems even with the best towels, how to find organic bath towels and kitchen towels. I'm gonna share my top picks for organic towels, and then we're gonna talk about the right way to wash bath towels so that they last. So I love swapping out towels in my home. It's a one-time change, and you can repeat it in each bathroom or at each sink in your home. And with each change, you're reducing toxins from your home and your entire life. Even these small changes like swapping out bath towels and kitchen towels keeps you moving forward in creating your own healthy house on the block. So let's take a look at the problems with even the best towels. So I'm going to warn you that once I read about the toxins in most towels, it was a real bummer when I went and dried my face that evening. All I could picture was the toxins I had read about being padded all over my face instead of absorbing the water from my skin. So obviously my overactive imagination was in full force, but the fact is there are plenty of toxins to be avoided in everyday towels. So there are two factors that make towels a really important swap to make. The first is that we're using towels on our bare skin um, and any toxins are gonna be absorbed into our skin. The second is there have been studies done showing that towels and fabrics that get heated in the dryer release many more VOCs into the air because of the extreme heat and the humidity. So the first toxin we're going to look at is pesticides. And I think the biggest culprit in most textiles, including bath towels and kitchen towels, is pesticides. Because cotton is a mass-produced plant, often it requires 
some level of pesticides to ensure the crop isn't ruined. In fact, cotton, along with corn, soybeans, and wheat, receive about 80% of all pesticides used in the United States. So because we're exposed to pesticides through a multiple... So because we're exposed to pesticides through multiple cotton sources every day, our clothing, our carpet, our textiles, it's a toxin that builds up in our body and systems. We aren't able to naturally detox as quickly as we're coming in contact with this toxin. So this inability to detox pesticide toxins quickly enough can cause issues with hormone production and endocrine function. It increases the risk of Parkinson's disease and cancer and issues with the reproductive system. Children are also at a higher risk for developing ADHD and other developmental defects and delays. I have linked uh, a very specific post on pesticides in this week's blog post for you guys. So next is phthalates. When microfiber, which is usually advertised as super absorbent, um, became a really popular option, you better believe I jumped on that bandwagon. Who didn't love a super absorbent towel? And I loved using them for cleaning cloths. But the truth is microfibers are all chemicals and essentially microfibers are man-made from a polyester nylon blend. The microfibers are about a third of the size of cotton and so they're exceptionally small. These tiny particles end up in our laundry and eventually in the earth and water where they really don't break down or decompose as cotton would. So because Because microfiber is made from synthetic materials, studies have shown that they expose us to high levels of phthalates and formaldehyde during use. And when we dry microfiber, it also emits more VOCs due to the heat and moisture in the dryer. Um, Phthalates are a huge endocrine disrupting chemical that again, is found in many places throughout our home. So being exposed from multiple sources throughout the day means that we rarely get a break to detox properly from this toxin. Dyes are another thing we want to watch for in bath towels. So I grew up in the 80s and 90s. If you don't think that we had matching wallpaper, towels, and rugs adorning our bathroom, you can think again. But the problem with all the colorful towels is that most of them contain toxins in the dyes being used. So of course, manufacturers want their color to last. And so in order to have fade resistant color, chemicals have to be added. Dyes often contain heavy metals like cadmium, which can lead to kidney disease, bone disease, and lung problems. These dyes are often water soluble, and this means that they're absorbed into your skin quickly and easily. So in addition to the dye itself, formaldehyde is often added to the mix to sustain the dye in the fibers. Formaldehyde is a known carcinogen and it's harmful to our brain and skin. So as with any textile that is produced, there are finishing treatments that are added to make them resistant to just about anything. If you don't like static cling, they add formaldehyde. If you want to prevent mildew, they add an antimicrobial treatment. If you can't stand stains on your towels, then throw in some chlorine. So formaldehyde is one of the biggest components added to textiles to prevent a plethora of issues. And unfortunately, it never gets washed out from the fibers. Formaldehyde, again, is a known carcinogen and stays in the towel fibers forever. So each time you use it and each time you wash it, you're exposing yourself to a toxin that we're really getting overloaded with on a constant basis. Antimicrobial treatments are another toxin we want to avoid as much as possible. So biocide chemicals are used, which are highly damaging to the environment and animals. And on top of this, they contribute to antibiotic resistance in humans. So now let's talk about how do we even find organic towels? What's the best thing to look for? So there are so many options for towels than there were ever before. You could just head to Target and find an Okio Tech Standard 100 bath towel, call it a day. But there are a few things you want to look for when you're shopping for a truly organic bath towel. I personally love organic cotton. Cotton is easy to care for and generally pretty durable. The reason it's so important to find organic cotton is to avoid exposure to pesticides that could potentially be harmful to your body and your space. So USDA certified organic cotton is usually listed right on the tag. You could also look for other natural fibers. Again, you wanna make sure these are organic. Certified organic is, is best. 
as they're all plants that can be grown and so they can contain pesticides if you're not getting organic. Organic hemp is a great alternative as is organic hemp is a great alternative as it's naturally mold and mildew resistant and linen is another material that is often used for towels. Linen is extremely durable and extra absorbent so you can actually get a thinner towel if that's something that you like. The best certification is the Global Organic Textile Standard. So this is the GOTS certification, which regulates the fabric, the dyes, the processing, and the manufacturing. It ensures every step of the process uses little to no chemicals. The next best certification is the OEKO. The next best certification is the OEKO Tex Standard 100, which will limit most chemicals on the product. You also want to find something that is unbleached or natural. So watch out for synthetic dyes. If you find kitchen towels or bath towels that are unbleached or undyed, this is your best option. You could also opt for towels that are colored with natural dyes and natural colorants. If you found a colorful towel that's also got certified, you can bet that the dyes are also safe. And then we want to avoid those topical treatments. So avoid towels that advertise super absorbent or antimicrobial, unless of course you know that there is no treatment added to give these towels this like superpower. Um, Of course, natural fibers do have some of these elements, but more often than not, topical treatments can be added to create a towel resistant to stains, mold, and mildew. So here is a sneak peek at what I have on the blog this week. These are some of the towels that I have linked. I have them linked from several different companies. Um, Grund is one that I really like. I have some Etsy picks. Avocado has started making organic towels. And then um, Roganique is a new store that I have found that has an amazing selection of organic textiles. So those are all linked on the blog this week. And let's take a look at when you have towels that are free from all these added treatments, you really want to take care of them the right way to prevent issues like mildew from stinking up the fibers. You'll also want to take care and avoid using chemicals and synthetic fragrance in your laundry products. There's no use investing in toxin-free organic bath towels only to add chemicals and toxins to the fibers when you wash them. So the first thing you want to do is dry it completely between use. Hang up your towel and make sure it has the opportunity to dry out completely before it's used. Towels that stay damp are a breeding ground for mold and mildew. You want to wash your towels in hot, hot water. Don't use too much detergent as the detergent can leave a residue on the towels that will make it scratchy and rough. And then a rinse with cold water is best when you're washing towels. Typically, you want to avoid fabric softener when washing towels as it can make the towels less absorbent. I like to use vinegar in place of softener. It actually makes the towels feel soft and it really doesn't smell. Once the towels are dry, there's no vinegar odor. You can also use safety pins on your dryer balls. So for fluffy, static-free towels, the dryer balls with the safety pin is the trick. The balls help tumble the towels and the safety pin will take care of the static cling. So make sure your towels are 100% dry before you remove them from the dryer. Another option is you can line dry your towels and then just finish them up in the dryer for five to 10 minutes. So towels might be a big investment the first time around, but the good news is by purchasing a high quality product like the ones I have listed in my blog post this week and washing them the right way, like how we just talked about, you should be set for a really long time. It's one of those products you won't have to be replacing over and over again. And it's why it can be such a great swap to make as you check off your healthy house list. So if you want more information, you can click the link at the end of my video description to head to the blog post. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and going through all of the information that I wanted to share about towels. I hope that it will help you make uh, an informed decision when you go to the store next time or you need to replace the towels that are in your home. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or send me an email. I do these videos every week and I would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I'll be back again next week with another healthy house tip on creating an indoor space that really supports your health and wellness.